Hey everyone, Ify here. Hope you're smelling great. Before I get into this video's topic, I will ask you to please bear with me a couple of seconds because I have two things I want to discuss about and then we'll get straight into the Armoff fragrances that are not worth buying. The first thing I want to discuss is about the video that I'm preparing where I'm going to present again multiple Armoff fragrances and I'm going to state which clones of which popular fragrances they are supposed to be and I'm delaying this video because I want to be as accurate as possible so I'm still testing the fragrances side by side I'm still comparing and I don't want to provide bad information and make you guys buy fragrances that you will eventually regret purchasing the second matter I wanted to talk about is something that I've also wanted to talk about earlier in my first videos but I've delayed it because I didn't think it was that important but now a fellow reviewer of mine brought up this subject and I thought that I'm going to stress this one in this video as well. It's regarding the topic of my videos and that's fragrance clones, cheap fragrances. I don't see anything wrong with that because that's how we are people in general. We are cloning what other people are doing. For centuries we've been doing that, that's why we're evolving. We're taking stuff that our ancestors built and we're taking them to another level. And I usually go by logic. Why would I pay more money for a product that has cheaper alternatives that offers the same results? Are you following me? Now I'm not suggesting you should stop buying designer and niche fragrances, because there are fragrances that you cannot find alternatives for and there are fragrances that they are just worth buying because you simply respect the company or you simply love the bottles, like I do with Jean Barbados. There are also people who can't afford buying expensive fragrances. And I totally understand that. I'm glad that people can find in my videos great alternatives to expensive fragrances that they can enjoy. Even if I had a channel where I was reviewing only niche fragrances and expensive fragrances, then there would have been people complaining why am I making videos only about niche fragrances. So you see guys, no matter what content we will provide in our videos, there will always be someone that will disagree with us or will not like our videos, so we can't make everyone happy. But I'm glad that if I could help one person find what he needs or make him feel happy, then I will feel happy. Now the friend reviewer of mine who brought this up is none other than Benjamin Daniel which has his channel Ben Daniel and I would definitely recommend you go and check his videos he also offers some great cheap alternatives to expensive fragrances also some are muff fragrances and he also has designer fragrances he's from India but he speaks like a native American. He has such a great vibe and such a nice and warm aura. He's very kind and he's very passionate about what he's doing. I will leave a link in the description towards his channel. So do check it out and see for yourself that he does deliver great content. Now let's get back to the topic of this video because those couple of seconds turned into a couple of minutes and we have a couple of things to discuss about our mouth fragrances not worth purchasing. Now the first fragrance I want to talk to you about is one that is seriously worth considering when you are thinking about purchasing it. Because it's a very expensive Armaf fragrance and I don't think it's worth buying. This one is called Armaf Oros Purom Oros. It's being said that the bottle has Swarovski crystals and even with those crystals I held it in my hand and I'm telling you it feels very cheap. It does not worth purchasing just for the bottle. Second reason is it smells just like Invictus. Paying that much price for a clone of Invictus, I don't think it's worth it. Also not worth it because you could anytime purchase Arm of Aura, which is also a clone of Invictus and identical to Oros. Is it worth paying that much price only because it's being said that it has Swarovski crystals? I'm not gonna pay that much money for those crystals. What am I going to do? 
get the crystals out of the bottle and make a necklace out of it? No, I don't think so. The second fragrance I want to talk about is one that I've promoted in one of my videos and that's because when our moth became popular there wasn't other clone as good as that one. And this one is our moth tag him. This was amongst the first clone that our moth made and it was very close to its original. But now I don't think it's worth purchasing because our moth released another couple of Bleu de Chanel clones which in my opinion are better and worth purchasing instead of a moth tag him. As you know, if you own a moth tag him, it has a very harsh opening. Every time I sprayed myself with it, I had to hold my breath because it was so overwhelming and it almost made me cough. So replacing it with another a moth product will not be a problem because a moth now has lots of Bleu de Chanel clones. For me, I've already found one replacement. It is a moth enchanted trend. I'm not going to talk very much about this one because this one will be in the Armoff fragrance haul that I'm going to release. If you don't have this one and if you're not interested in this one, maybe you will be interested in Armoff Shades Blue or Armoff Voyage Blue, which are also clones of Bleu de Chanel. Now the third fragrance I'm going to talk about is Armoff Idevo. When this was released, it was like a bad clone of Aventus because we also had Club de Nuit Intense Man. Why is it that bad? Well, it does smell similar to Aventus, but it has a very medicinal smell to it. It smells like the tea you're drinking when you're feeling sick. So that was very off-putting to me and not only to me, but to my friends also. Club de Nuit Intense is much better. Now guys, our muff has lots of fragrances that smell similar. This is mainly the reason that they are not worth purchasing. But maybe you desire the looks of another bottle or the feel of another bottle. And the best example I could give you is our muff Tre Nuit. Before you say that I'm crazy or there's something wrong with me, there are better alternatives to that one. Now, I've already presented Estiera's Tag Black and I have already reviewed it separately. And for me, this one delivers the same juice quality as Tres Nuit does. The same performance and this one is cheaper. But we're talking about Armoff fragrances here. So if you don't want an alternative from Estiera, then you could very well choose an Armoff product. And Armoff Enchanted Club is the alternative to Tres Nuit. For me, the bottle of Tres Nuit is so annoying that I'm not going to purchase it. I still get comments like, where is Tres Nuit in your Armoff haul videos? I'd rather use a bottle that I can hold it in my hand and that I could spray myself with it. Now, almost the last fragrance that I'm going to talk about in this video is Armoff Skin Couture Silver. This one is identical to this one. So again, what did I say about the bottles? Do you like the bottle of this one or do you like this bottle? It's just a matter of this issue. The juice inside the bottles is the same, so there's no way it's worth purchasing both of them. You know that some are moth fragrances are identical to each other, but there are also some fragrances, some are moth fragrances that have some tweaks here and there and those little tiny bit of changes might work for some of you. So let's say for example, this one is a bit different than Tres Nuit, a very tiny bit different. And maybe for some of you, you would rather purchase this one or that one because it's on your taste. I'm not going to say in this video why I pick this one. Yes, I said it, I like the bottle more, but there is also a tiny bit of difference which in my opinion makes it better. That was it guys. This was just part one of a series that I'm planning to make because as you know and as you see, there are more and more moth fragrances that smell like each other. So this was part one and this was just for male fragrances. I'm probably going to make a video for women fragrances. But until the next video, keep smelling great.